So in today's golf lesson, I'm going to show you one of the weirdest drills that I have to improve your release. Now, what is a release? A lot of people misunderstand what a release is. A release is simply the act of getting the club head in front of your hands. Now, we have body releases, we have hand releases, and I think there's far too much effort and emphasis put into the body release. The body release is not really going to help you control the club face better, and it's certainly not gonna give you extra distance. It will make you put more effort in, but that effort will not translate into extra club head speed, therefore distance. So the release really comes from the hands. And when I do this, some people say that's flipping. It isn't flipping. It's releasing the club. And in my day-to-day -day role as a full-time coach, not a lot of people release. I'm seeing a lot of, particularly older golfers, I'm in that category myself now, not old, just getting older. And I see a lot of people finishing here with their hands there. They're just not able to get enough club head speed through the shot, mainly because they're putting so much effort with their body and their hands just put the brake on on the way down. So here's my real weird way that I'm gonna get you to release the club. So I'm gonna show you what it is. Yeah, I threw the club. I didn't throw it in anger, I just threw it. And I want you to notice where the ball, where that club finished. It actually finished straight. So what did I do there? When I get some clients to do this, the first thing that they do is they release with their shoulders and the club goes 45 degrees to the left. That's pretty typical. And it takes about three throws of the club to work out how to get the club going straight. So we don't want to let our shoulders release the club. We want to get our hands pushing the club through. And just by getting those hands to push the club through, you're going to notice that you're going to finish with your hands much higher and you're going to generate a little bit more speed, but it's the body and hands working in unison together. So I'll throw it again. There's the one that goes out to the left. Fairly typical, and people say, oh, what happened there? Went a long way left. So as I said, it usually takes about three goes to finally get the release right. So we wanna feel like we're gonna release out to what I'm gonna call two o'clock to three o'clock. If 12 o'clock's in front there, one, two, three, we wanna feel like we're gonna throw it out to about three o'clock. So I'll give it one more go. There's a nice throw. It's gone relatively straight. My hands have finished high and I definitely release the club. So when we get to hitting a golf shot with, say, a driver, all I need to do is feel that my hands are pushing the club head through, and in particular, my right hand. So I'm very much a right hand release golfer. So I'll give it a go from here. So there's my release. The ball, little soft draw, started down those signs, drew back to the left. As I've said before, I don't try to make it draw. I swing and I draw, but I did release. And in particular, what you'll notice is when I'm in my follow through position, my hands are extended. Now, if I'm releasing properly, that's the position that I get my hands into. When I'm using my body release, I'm coming in here. You probably see a little bit of a chicken wing from that back camera there. We want to really get those hands working out nice and wide. The wider we can get, the further and the straighter we're going to hit. Now, if you want to improve your golf, I'm going to put a link to another video just up here I know is going to help improve your golf.